Alright, what's up guys? Ninja Deathstrike here, bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle. Uh, finally ditched my original team, for good I think. Well, yeah, for good, because Pokebank's coming out, so I'm sure it'll change, but... Uh, we're using the B team here, and I have, I think, this week's, and then one more set of vi videos with this team, and then that's all the videos I have backed up. Pokebank should be out, things are going to change, so I didn't want to record too many more. Um, also, this will be the last video probably of the year for me. Christmas is coming up, and then we're going to be away until the new year, so probably January. I will try to start posting videos again. I'm also probably going to be working in January, so things might change. We'll have to wait and see. Anyhow, uh, here's my team. It's similar to the one we saw last week, I think. Magnezone may be new. I'm trying out Choice Scarf Magnezone. Um, at this point, it was Modest Choice Scarf, I believe. Timid just didn't hit hard enough. I needed the Modest. Uh, not a huge fan of it, though. And then Skarmory also, I believe, is new. He's pretty good. He checks a lot of stuff, and uh, he can set up hazards. So that's my team. Looking down here at my opponents, uh, pretty standard OU fair, actually. Everyone except this guy, Tyrantrum. He learned Stealth Rocks, he hits hard, people have been trying to make him work. He has very, very good defense, but I don't I don't see it. Again, he's okay right now because of the lack of good Stealth Rock users, but he seems destined for at least EUU once uh, everyone shows up to the party. So let's get into the match, see how things go. He's going to go ahead and lead with the Tarantrum. I'm going to lead with Gudra. I was probably predicting the Rotom lead there, but I don't want to stand against Tarantrum and die, so I switch into Skarmory, take the Dragon Claw fairly easily, but holy cow, that Head Smash does almost half to Skarmory. So uh, I set up the rocks, and then I roost, figuring if he goes for it, I die, but he doesn't get rocks up. If he gets rocks up, then I get to heal. So he does actually set up his own rocks. I get to heal. Then, unfortunately for him, Head Smash always misses, so he's going to miss twice in a row, and that's going to let me take him down with Steel Wing. At this point in time, Skarmory doesn't have access to Brave Bird. That's why I was using Steel Wing. It actually worked out in that case, though. So he brings Aegislash in here on Gudra, which is an interesting choice. Uh, I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. Not quite going to do enough damage. I probably... I think maybe Gudra can't learn Fire Blast, but then he's going to make a mistake and try and kill me with Shadow Sneak. Maybe not understanding how bulky Gudra is, and that's going to let me take him out while he's in his attack form. Gengar comes in, Mega Evolves into Mega Gengar, finishes me off. That's fine. I'm going to go into Talonflame here. Uh, I get a crit on this Rotom Wash. That's very nice. It does 41%, so pretty good there. I predict the Volt Switch here, so I actually go for the Roost, but instead he tricks me a Choice Scarf. That's fine. Uh, but now I know he's he's definitely going to attack me. So I go into Treverant to block whatever he wants to do, take the Thunderbolt pretty well, and then uh, the Volt Switch easily. I'm able to go for the Leech Seed on the Switch. He goes into Scissor, which is nice. I get the Leech Seed on it. I throw up a Predict because I know he's going to want a U-turn. Rotom and Scissor, that's all they do. Volt Switch, U-turn. That's It's really effective, <laughs> but it's very predictable. So... I get some easy residual damage on there, go into Skarmory, predicting the U-turn. Rotom Wash comes in, and I decide Skarmory is not going to be that useful, so I'm just going to break the chain here. I let him kill me with a Volt Switch. I don't think that crit mattered at all, uh, but it's going to give me Switch Initiative. He goes to Scissor. I go to Magnezone, trap the Scissor, kill it with a Thunderbolt, and that's going to end the uh, the Volt Turn shenanigans. Uh, Magnezone has pretty much done his job, so I just leave him in to die to Talonflame. Go into my own Talon Flame here, thinking maybe we have a speed tie, but it looks like it's maybe he's running more. Either that or he wins, so I'm actually going to end up losing my Talon Flame for nothing. That was a really bad move. I should have gone right into Azumarill because I know uh, I can take a hit. So I lose Talon Flame for nothing, and he's going to bring in Rotom Wash. Going to have to go into Trevorant here to block it, but of course he's going to Volt Switch, go into Mega Gengar. There's no way Trevorant is going to survive that. But, the hero of the hour is here, Azumarill, gets a crit on the Aqua Jet, takes out the Mega Gengar, and yes, gets the Rotom Wash. So, super, super important crit there, lets me win the battle. Uh, I'm able to to sneak through that Mega Gengar, I don't think a regular attack would have killed it, and then uh, I had damaged the Rotom enough 
to take it down. So that's going to be a super close match that I'm just able to squeak out of, and a uh, really good one. So moving on to game two, I'm down here this time. We see my team has changed yet again. When I'm working out a new team, it changes a lot. So Kangaskhan is here now, as well as Nose Pass or Probo Pass. I was so desperate for a good stealth rocker that didn't die to Talonflame that I was actually trying out Nose Pass. That's how low I sunk. So one super awesome guy, one and you guy. Uh, my opponent's team though is very unorthodox. Don't see a whole lot of Gardevoir, even the Mega Form, which we'll see why in this video. Uh, Volbeat, sure. I guess it's got Prankster Thunder Wave, so that's cool. I guess the rest of these guys are around a bit. Togekiss isn't that common, but it should be. It's really, really good this gen, so an interesting team to say the least, but a, a little out of the ordinary. So let's see how things play out. Uh, I'm going to lead with Roswell the Magnazone here. He's going to lead with Greninja. Greninja outspeeds Magnazone, even with a Choice Scarf. So he's going to get a big Dark Pulse on, and then I'm going to Volt Switch out, go into Kangaskhan. I'm figuring that uh, I could take it out with a Sucker Punch. So he switches into Ferrothorn, and it fails, but I don't care. Uh, he sends in Ferrothorn on Magnazone, uh, on Kangaskhan, that's fine. I Mega Evolve, get double attack, he sets up Stealth Rock, so he gives me a free turn. I go for the Earthquake here, I don't care if Togekiss comes in, I'm faster than it, it's gonna die to a double return, which it does, dead, gone. Volbeat comes in, I think maybe it's gonna wanna paralyze me, but I'm okay with that, like I'll take a Perilous to just kill this thing. Instead he tries to get cute, set up a sub, so I almost kill that. Ferrothorn comes back in, he's going to get some more damage um, with the Iron Spikes, but I'm also going to pretty much kill it. And now he doesn't have a Flyer to avoid the Earthquake, so Ferrothorn dead. Uh, that's two, almost three, Greninja comes back in. He shows me the Water Shuriken, which is interesting. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, I go for the Sucker Punch here, and it fails. Um, so I'm going to actually go for it again thinking that maybe he'll try and use another attack, but he doesn't. He sticks with the Water Shuriken. However, it's okay. Because he's Life Orbed, I'm, he's actually going to end up killing himself. So Kangaskhan takes out almost four members of his team single-handedly. Uh, he's pretty good. So Mega Gardevoir comes in here. I'm going to set up a curse on it because I figure it's going to want to do something stupid. He just switches into Volbeat. That's fine. I pretty much get a free curse. Since my Citrus Berry restores my health, uh, I get a bunch of it back. Now Gardevoir comes in, Mega Evolves, and that Moonblast does less than half. So Trevorin is just going to not not even care about it. He's going to go for Horn Leech, get a bunch of health back. And then he's going to try and set up, knowing I have Curse, which is an interesting choice to say the least. But again, Trevorin doesn't care. He's just going to kill it. He goes one-on-one -on -one against Mega Gardevoir and just kills it. Because Mega Gardevoir... Not that strong. So Garchomp comes in as his last member. He locks himself in Outrage. I still have a Fairy. That's going to be the game. So there we go. Didn't get to see Probo Pass, but oh well. He's nothing special. Maybe he'll be in a the next video, and then he'll be gone forever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. If you did, feel free to leave a comment in the comments section, and uh, have a Merry Christmas. I will catch you guys next year. Later.